I'm Jacqueline Nolan, and I'm the writer and performer in Since Maggie Went Away. I'm Laura Mander, and I'm the director of Since Maggie Went Away. You might think, why do a story like Since Maggie Went Away, when we've had the Magdalene Laundries, we've had the smash hit Philomena? The thing is, though, you see, there are many sides to the story. My story is about what happens when your baby doesn't get sold off to a wealthy Catholic American family for a little donation to the nuns, but ends up in a home for boys at the hands of the Christian brothers. Gets the full treatment. In 2014, Jacqueline approached me with this idea that she had about creating a monologue based on an article that she wrote for the Irish Times. My company, Orange Tea Theatre, had been putting together an event and a monologue evening, and Jackie had approached us with a really interesting idea. And then, of course, she told me that the article was based on her own true history, which made it even more fascinating. After she presented it, we, were, we discussed it further, and she wanted to make it into a play. Now we come to that much more interesting phenomenon. Wasn't James Mason on the big, gorgeous on the big screen? And who's prepared to pursue I wish to remind him Max snogging up to me and rubbing me leg and not him. And, punishment. and then when the film was over, Molly and John Joe and me and him, we went out. And him says, so why don't we slip round the back of the Ritz for a good night kiss? Ah, the Ritz. The Ritz, how oh, are you? The Ritz of Tullamore. Sure used to be an old slaughterhouse, my uncle said. I could smell the drink on his breath when he kissed me. Then he put his hands where my stockings should have been. Over the last year, we've taken some time and developed three really strong characters and uh, developed the story and used her beautiful writing to create a longer play. And this is what we have to present now. And I said, no. And he said, come on now, Maggie. You gave me the love, come on. And I said, no. I was dark. And he was rough and quick. Not like James Mason. I've been looking at figures. I drew up some figures today and yesterday. And so far, I'm at a total of 8,257 euros. As an artist in Amsterdam, I'd just like to say that I don't get any subsidy or grant of any kind here in the Netherlands, or indeed for this production, not from the UK, Ireland, or anywhere else in the world. So we're really relying on crowdfunding to get this production off the ground. Why support us? The Screaming Room. The Screaming Room was a hut, a kind of a shed, that was in the grounds of the mother and baby home where my mother had my brother. And women who were in labour giving birth were moved to the screaming room if they were making too much noise. Why I think this is important, I feel the time has come to give a voice at last to all those who weren't allowed to scream or shout or make noise who were hidden. We'd really appreciate your support. Help us get this show to Edinburgh. Yeah. For my heart is filled with war, with war, since Maggie went. Oh, well.